Well, this is more important. After decades of communism and Peronism in Argentina, the new government has uh, just made some incredible ground. Uh, Javier Millet has slashed inflation and delivered the first monthly budget surplus in 12 years. Uh, he's called the Argentinian Trump and he's managed to slow the world's highest inflation rate from 25.5% in December. That's just the monthly rate. It's He slashed it to almost half to 132 in February. Uh, he's halved the value of the peso. He's made sweeping cuts to state spending and also streamlined welfare programs. Uh, it's early days, Kosha. We shouldn't get too excited. But how is Malay making such a dramatic impact so quickly? Such a fascinating story. His whole election and then what he's done, I think it's 100 days in office. In that time, I think, you know, the, the overarching issue here is he's racing against time. Like, the situation in Argentina is so dire that he is running against the clock, and that gives him license to really do drastic things that, frankly, other countries would benefit from, but it's not so bad yet, so nobody does it. So he um, has slashed, I think, 300 jobs in the federal government. He fired one person on the air, on TV, because he's also a master of media, so he knows how to make things travel. Um, he removed pricing caps and things like that, which actually short-term increased inflation a little bit, but he did that because there's just too much uh, involvement and interference mm -hmm. by the economy, and he's trying to simplify those things. He's a free market guy. He did devalue the peso by 50%, which again initially had some negative blowback, but he had the courage to do it. And the reason his theory for that is it'll make exports more affordable from Argentina, which will bring revenue in. So he's got a whole economic policy. He's fearlessly executing it. And uh, I think the world is watching with fascination and learnings that we can take. 